we'll wait for a few minutes and then begin Okay, so let us begin. <clears throat> okay, so good evening, everybody. Can you all hear me clearly? Somebody can uh, say. Yes, ma'am. Yes, we can hear you. Uh, so good evening, everybody, and welcome to this mathematics webinar series three. Why I'm saying webinar series three? Because uh, in the pandemic, we had begun this whole process of... Uh, this webinar, SXI Pedagogy Unit has started this webinar in order to discuss the problems in mathematics learning. Uh, during the pandemic, there was a lot of online learning and a uh, number of problems uh, related to that, as well as to share the knowledge of different methods of teaching in mathematics. And we are happy that we are, uh, through this program, we have been uh, catering to a number of teachers, researchers, as well as, you know, different um, BA, uh, the BA students. Uh, and uh, they are able to understand uh, the different methods of learning and then also put it into practice. Uh, many of them have appreciated the webinar through the feedback form. We have understood that uh, it has been useful and therefore we uh, wish to continue this program so that it can be beneficial and a lot of change can come in mathematics teaching learning. So uh, participants, uh, you all are witnessing this webinar. Every month we will try to organize uh, a webinar for you. And uh, in return, we would appreciate that if you would share with us your innovations and concerns in mathematics, uh, through a one minute video, if you can video, uh, like click a small video and talk to us and send it on a maths learning at sxi.in. You must have seen in the PowerPoint, maths learning at sxi.in. That is the email ID we have. And our YouTube channel is mathematics learning. And it has got uh, loads of information uh, all the videos of our previous webinars, which uh, could help you reflect on your own teaching as well as uh, it could also help you to become more innovative and creative. So uh, I think, you know, this is like a mission that we all can take up as uh, teachers of mathematics. And we know that there are a lot of uh, phobias related to mathematics. And also, uh, parents are also spending a lot of money pushing the child into tuitions, and uh, the child has to, uh, you know, perform well in the subject. Uh, it is scoring, but there are a number of issues involved. So we all together, 
we are working together so that we can make the mathematics learning more and more joyful now we have received the nep 2020 and nep 2020 has proposed experiential method of learning and under the experiential method of learning there are two methods which are uh, highlighted in the experiential method of learning that is art integrated teaching and sports integrated teaching now today we are looking at art integrated teaching in mathematics and we are very happy to have dr sunita shah on our um, webinar a maths webinar ma'am has already given us last year also she was a part of this webinar and uh, she did speak on an important topic and today we have another important topic given to us by her uh, and it is a part of her phd so she will be speaking with a lot of conviction uh we have dr sunita shah uh, who was who has worked under a very uh, you know knowledgeable and experienced guide who's also our uh, has been my mentor and the mentor of many other people dr veena deshmukh so we thank her also uh, so um, over to austin now to uh, welcome uh, dr sunita shah uh, for the webinar austin thank you so much veena ma'am Good evening, everyone. We are honored to have with us Dr. Sunita Shah as a resource person for today. Uh, Dr. Sunita Shah has done her MPhil and PhD in Maths Education. In PhD, ma'am investigated the Maths empowering pedagogy with substitutes, mechanical memorization to pattern exploration. Ma'am study explored the mathematics empowerment construct using qualitative research. Tools were developed to ev evaluate effectiveness of maths creative problem solving instructional plans. Further, using quantitative research, Ma'am investigated the students' maths empowerment through maths creative problem solving. In her MPhil, Ma'am worked on investigating origami as a learning tool in mathematics. Ma'am believes that maths education can be made more approachable and interesting to students. by introducing innovative tools in maths learning ma'am's study evaluated the effectiveness of origami based maths learning tools we are extremely honored to have such an experienced person today once again we heartily welcome you ma'am okay so uh, over to the resource person and uh... uh just want to say that uh, we can uh, have a very meaningful um webinar uh, if you have any questions you can write it on the chat and the and also the youtube the student coordinators will be uh, picking up those questions and presenting it to the resource person thank you so over to sunita ma'am thank you ma'am the ppt is visible to everyone yes yes in this session we are going to discuss on five point the art art integration learning domain and taxonomy stages of teaching origami in integrated maths teaching and prop learning now very first i want to ask everyone what is an art is what you think the art is okay now i give you one link of mentimeter do one thing just describe whatever art stands for you just describe it in one word did you get the link uh there is no link in the chat box i can't see that now Ah, uh, now it is there, but it's not activated. Yeah. 
please try it out okay i have put it for everyone uh, it is activated so you can use it Done, everyone. The link is given in YouTube also. The YouTube participant also, they can give the word for the art. Just describe in one word, only one word. Okay, many of you have done with this. I'm audible to everyone. Yes, ma'am. I'm audible to everyone. Yes, yes, ma'am, you're audible. Yeah. Okay. Now, in the result, I have seen some have written it real, realistic than creativity. And many more, like different, different uh, perception was there. And the art is a Latin word, art, which means art, skill, or craft. Uh, it is mostly related with aesthetics. And it is depend, it is, it is a representation, it is an expression, it is a form, like a song or any kind of sculpture, it is kind of form or formation, you can say, the art is. Now, what exactly art? Art is not what you see, but what you make others to see. Now, uh, everyone uh, might have thought a word when I said, okay, uh, just, state art in one word. Everyone might have thought for a word. Now, what do you do? For every, means which word you have selected, what you have selected, any activity or anything you might have selected, try to use that word. Word means how you are going to use the thing, whatever you have selected, like creativity, if you have selected, use the creativity in maths. Now, what generally maths you will get only one answer can it be possible to have many answer for a question just an example 
Now, this is the second activity and you have two minutes time for this activity. You have to think how you can use the word you have used to describe art in one word. Uh, just try to analyze and think how you can do that thing in maths or how that thing can be used in mathematics. I think everything everyone done with this. I'm sharing a link to you on both platform. Now, whatever you have thought, just fill in this. Ma'am, name and art means what do you want us to fill? Name and art. Name and art, like uh, anyone might have uh, named in Mentimeter, like creativity. Now, creativity is a process, I can say, but it is given there uh, in the Mentimeter by the participant. Now, anyone can say drama, anyone can say painting, any, any, whichever okay. you like. The now painting, now how you are going to use some, some participant they have. Fill the form, you can see painting, geometric design, drawing, singing, then drama is there, then many more, even cooking is there, the art form. Wherever the skill, wherever the beauty, wherever the imagination, creativity, you can say it is art. Just now we have went through a definition a working definition of art. Now, how you are going to use that art in your mathematics? Just think. Go beyond the boundaries and think how you can, what you can do. Yes, I think it is visible. The response is visible to everyone. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. No, you see, there are different form of art or the art and how the participant want to use. You can see the different participant want to use the different chosen art in different way. Now, there's a storytelling activity, creativity. Now, how to use stories, how to use dramatization, how to use narration. That this is all thing we are going to do as we move ahead in this session. Okay, please everyone feel this. Generally, uh, as a math teacher, uh, what I have observed, many math teachers, they confine themselves to very restricted uh, meaning of mathematics and whatever given in the text, the same problem being solved means that is only one way most of the time I have observed. 
but can we break this yes we can because just now you are naming different forms of art different types of art is there in your mind and you you also know you are the you are, you have uh, knowledge how to use it also but we mostly don't do now i'm moving ahead there's one wonderful definition you can go through the definition art integration how to integrate art just go through it ma'am you can put it in the slide show mode please okay okay yeah it's done and there are many researchers uh, the researcher they have tried different types of different forms of like singing dance drama in mathematics and different subjects and they found very positive result in the uh, research means the end product of the research indicated the art integration is really fruitful in mathematics now when you integrate any art then at that time you might have some objective of integrating that and as we know the different domain of learning generally the domain cognitive affective and psychomotor and we try to enhance this domain and the objectives many of you are aware like remem remembering understanding applying analyzing evaluating and creating in cognitive and most of time affective domain is overlooked by us and the objectives you can see and many of us are aware also now one question to everyone in cognitive which of the, which objectives generally we uh, think or we involve we, we have in our lessons and most of the most of the time we ignore the objective which objective generally we ignore yeah my question to everyone we plan generally when we plan for mathematics class we plan for understanding applying sometime analyzing do we think for create creation i'm audible to everyone yes ma'am you are audible okay then when you integrate art then creation is possible yes nowadays we are doing yes, that ma'am creativity also we are for an example this uh, the name 21st century skill based project mm -hmm. nowadays we are doing mm -hmm. uh, in that for example i had written here innovation mm -hmm. to the 3d models okay uh, where we have used only polygon any type okay. of poly polygons okay. students are free to think about it okay. and they have prepared very nice model wonderful means okay now a that uh, magical no. cube was Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Continue, please continue. One magical cube, huh? As a toy. Okay. He had prepared and mm -hmm. very nice. If I know about mm -hmm. it today, we have to put it. Then I will bring it also so that I can show. Okay, so nice. Okay. Then this project is given in uh, during your class, or it is given like as a home uh, project? Uh, no, both both means uh, somewhat. we have done the class we have given an idea only 
means two to three lesson plan we have prepared for it so that we can yeah. uh, means we can uh, help them so that how they can do and okay. they have to do individually at their home okay nice now my question Instead is can... they... yes madam yes okay. i'm so sorry um, now my question is uh, can we have creation objectives in every class can it be possible creation objective to me or it's general question madam uh, my question is now in cognitive generally we plan for cognitive and psychomotor mostly affective domain is uh, like uh, ignored and can it be possible to have creation objective in most of the your lessons uh, math math lessons can it be possible can it be possible to have value uh, characterizing values yes, all in most or every class can it be possible my question is this yes ma'am okay. ma'am i feel uh, can i sorry ma'am i feel uh, not in every lesson it's possible i feel like that like maybe uh, after completion of a concept after okay. that it might be possible but not uh, while teaching uh, like not in every lesson every day okay. it's not possible it's okay. how i feel okay okay now if you integrate art art itself uh, gives feeling of creation and if you integrate art then it can be possible in every lesson to have creation objective valuing objective means you can you can find when you integrate any form of art in mathematics and how to do that we are going to see further i hope this is clear now stages now whenever you plan some objective then further you plan lesson plan and whenever you plan your lesson the lesson has mostly three stages the pre active interactive and post active now in pre active you plan in inter interactive you implement whatever you have planned and the post active mostly you evaluate and you give assignment and this on now my question is where i can integrate art in which stage i can integrate art i'm audible may be yes ma'am you are audible ha huh? in implementing stage also we can take and okay. some time for evaluation also so that how much concepts students okay. had wonderful wonderful this two type ma'am in all stages we can put that wow wonderful in every stages it is possible and it, once you decided to integrate art definitely at pre active stage you'll think which art and how to that is your planning once you plan then how to implement that one interactive and many time we involve art we integrate art in mathematics but we do not include in evaluating evaluation stage but as for me we should have one two question or something some kind of assignment where student can utilize those integrated art form in mathematics then it will give real enjoyment to the student and they can they, it it is a kind of motivation where student get motivate and to find more integration of art and mathematics now uh we'll take one art form the origami um what is origami uh ma'am uh, using paper and uh, making uh, different uh, designs with the help of that thin stick uh, papers paper uh... mm -hmm. okay using the uh, paper square paper using square paper cutouts for uh, okay. uh -huh. making any shapes and uh... one leg like. have you ever done this at origami activity during your school days have you done yes, yes ma'am ma i think every one of us 
have done this origami activity and we had made boat and house and lot many things now it's my request to everyone if you have paper with you of course everyone has paper now just make one or two article out of it one minute time to you make and then we'll move further i think at least one is done by most of you what you have made did you yes participants you can switch on your videos and show us yes please so ma'am i made this if you can see okay this is okay like yeah. okay nice cylinder yes nice Uh, ma'am i have made a photo frame wonderful any other only two okay we are moving further making a frog just show me yeah still in the process nice good okay okay fine okay I'm assuming everyone might have made at least one one origami article. This is my assumption. Now, what is origami? You can go through this slide. Origami is a wonderful art which is really used in drug delivery, than in industries, in packaging industry, than space research, and and draw if you go through this uh, you'll find the origami is really a wonderful art which is very helpful in nowadays uh, technology because of origami the size of uh, any technique uh, now if you are aware of uh, uh, printable ink then because of origami uh, we can have folded mobile we can have folded mobile folded television many thing uh, reducing the means we will we can reduce the space it's really wonderful art now this is a site there are many sites where you can get get different origami article folding now this is those they have not done any article they can have a paper and can try out this you can make one origami figure and then we'll do analysis of it are you or you can have your own any it is not 
no hard and fast rule that you have to make this you can make any and those they have made uh, the article they can try out some more everyone done with at least one origami uh, folded uh, article some kind of where you need to fold the paper make a crease on the paper get some lines on it have you made everyone i'm asking to everyone yes ma'am yes ma'am we have done everyone i'm asking to youtube participant also everyone complete okay i'm assuming at least one one article you have done with now there are different uh, origami articles now my question uh, when you fold paper different folding gives out different kind of shape are you agree with me yes ma'am why but why different shape you get okay no answer systematic okay. folding systematic folding wonderful it depends on the angle of the plane where you are taking the turn yes what else nahi mere wala ki thoda na kar iske liye yeah why the same paper my question to everyone why the same paper when you fold in different style you get different article why not the same article i am getting why why it happens if there can be any mathematics where you can say different fold gives out different article is there yes sometime we are folding diagonally mm -hmm. sometime we are folding it horizontal vertical means angle wise we are yes. folding it differently yes. yes and then folding and unfolding and refolding a uh, different style yeah, the different creases uh, the creases that are formed that are also different somewhat yes. perpendicular or diagonal yes yes wonderful and there are n number of way where i can fold and you know permutation and combination there are n number of permutations and combination that means n number of formation can be possible in origami if i take first uh, mountain fold then i take valley fold now if i interchange and the paper is the plane is so vast i can fold first then i can fold in between i can fold diagonally i can fold anywhere that means n number the infinity i can um, countless there are n number of folding and then n number of that means n number of combinations are uh, can be possible of different lines and unfolding it will gives out different different types of article and then how we refold and what we do different article you get through origami now uh can you find now you have everyone has a article with you now just observe that article 
that origami article and try to analyze which are the mathematics what are the mathematics hidden in that article ma'am parallel lines we can teach we can yes, teach uh, even 3d figures we can teach uh, rhombus sky yes. trapezium yes. yes can we teach some formulas can it be possible to teach some formulas uh, yes ma'am pythagoras theorem we can show them yes what else expansion formula of a plus b whole square by a uh, square using a square identities all identities can also be yes then interior angle of triangle then interior angle sum of interior angle of quadrilaterals then all type of shape different shape their interior angle combination then vertically opposite angle then intersecting line and parallel line the formation of various form of angles there n number of topics just try to analyze different different topics there is one activity now what you have to do i am going to share i am going to share a link to you it is a document link it is a word link okay i'll show you the link uh, the uh, wait i'll show you i'm sharing this to everyone okay now you can see that are different groups i'll share the link of this document on youtube as well as in zoom both platform now you can see group 1 till group 15 now my expectation in every group there will be 10 member and in case if you find in every group 10 members are already there then go to different group and check and if you find all the 15 groups are filled with 10 10 member then you do individually because the columns are visible to you okay now what you have to do suppose the group 1 if the group 1 participant suppose if anyone want to be in group 1 click on the group 1 okay click what you have to do simply you have to click then after clicking it you will get jam board fine now on jam board what you have to do you have to write your name here use the text box box okay use the text box and write your name you have to write your name now another member will write this way 10 member will get occupied on this jam board once this is done then what you can do you can go to second page of it first page for your member name i hope it is clear now second page go beyond the folds now everyone has one one article what you have to do you have to discuss on using text box you can discuss on this jam board and you have to select one topic you have to select topic different maths topic in it and you can decide how you can integrate this in learning mathematics i hope i am clear to everyone what you have to do i am sharing this i am sharing this link to you on zoom as well as youtube now what you have to do once you get the link open the group if already 10 members are there then go to the another one and then another one if all the groups are filled then do independently and then we are going to discuss now what are the columns now you have to write your group name you can write one two or any name which you like or any art form or anything which is very uh, attached to you your group that name you can give then the plan how you are going to suppose you have selected triangle now what you are going to do exactly what you are going to teach exactly that you have that means interior angle you are going to teach or exterior angle in or side uh, relation between sides and what different types of what exactly what is your plan that you have to write after discussion on the jam board you have to the group leader you have to select one group leader the group leader will fill this now you have to write the origami figure 
jointly you have to decide one origami figure then one mass topic and teaching phase drag the teaching phase which teaching phase you are going to use now planning will always be now in process you can use in process that is implementation and sometime you can keep implementation and directly can have in evaluation also suppose you taught triangle interior angle of triangle uh, but uh, at that time you have not used origami in the assignment you can use origami you can do okay make this figure and uh, and prove the interior angle of this way you can plan up means then at that time it is only evaluation phase or you can have both phase that is up to you planning it is understood every time in the planning it will be you now objective level which objective level that covered remembering now i am focusing on the cognitive you can all you can have all you can write all but if i ask then you have to explain me what exactly you want to mean that i hope it is clear the activity is clear to everyone participants yes ma'am i hope the activity is clear to everyone now i am sharing the link okay now you have 10 minutes time with you you have 10 minutes time with you form the group right on first page of jam board write the member name then second page your discussion page discuss it in case if you require more pages then go to third and then you can add up more more page if you want as you know in, uh, in jam board you can uh, attach uh, figures we many thing can be done you can explore and you know about it many of you and those are not they can explore it हेलो मैम मैम सुनिए ना
हेलो participants only group 1 and group 10 have participated where are the other groups
fellow participants. Do you need more time? I'm audible to everyone. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, do you need time? Okay. Uh, Sunita, ma'am, why are you getting unmuted every uh, muted every time? I don't know. It is uh, okay. Participants, okay, we'll move ahead. Participants, Okay, uh, we'll do the activity afterward. Now we'll move ahead. Participants, are you there? I'm audible. I'm audible to everyone. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now I'll give time uh, to complete the activity. Now we'll move ahead. Now, uh, you have uh, done some activity to integrate origami and mathematics. What do you feel? What are the benefits of uh, integrating origami in mathematics? As per you, what are the benefits? Ma'am, it can help make con abstract things more concrete so that yes. students understand in a better way. Yes. What else can be? Any other? Any other participant? Yes, any other participant? What you felt if you integrate the origami in mathematics, this benefit you'll get? Any other? Active participation. Wonderful. What else? Learning by doing. Yes, participants? Learning by doing. Okay, connect to real life. What else? Okay. Okay, yes. team. wonderful. Cooperative yes. learning is learn. possible. Yes, yes. Yeah. Learning by doing. Wonderful. Yeah, there are many benefits of uh, integrating origami in mathematics. Uh, some of these benefits are listed in next slide. Behavioral skills. 
the behavioral skill the behavior of the student uh, can be controlled using origami cooperative learning as you said linked to mathematics means origami you can link to varied concept of uh, maths can series be used means we can integrate uh, origami while teaching series yeah higher level mathematics like sequence series and many arithmetic topic can also be included while uh, integrated in origami while teaching maths now cognitive development analytical skill applying and the higher level of uh, cognition can be possible through origami once you teach for example if you teach the interior angle identify a triangle make origami article when you give this activity to make any origami article which may be chosen by you or may be free to student to select their own and when they uh, complete the article and when they made the article you just see their faces you'll find they are very uh, happy while doing the activity and then if you ask okay unfold it find the triangle find the interior angle some of the interior angle then you find some of the student will experiment out with the quadrilateral also they'll find interior angle of some of interior angle of the quadrilateral is this some may some may go to beyond and they'll come with ki ma'am i have done this 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 and i found this and they'll come with different different mathematics sometimes you'll find they may come with different idea a different kind of math which you are not or we are not aware of and it is required to verify what they are saying is really correct or not that means we have to be updated with latest math and lot many community building means a kind of club uh, math club activity can be done uh, such kind of community building now language development there is a research the research indicated that when we do origami activity our finger movement very fine finger movement is required and when young children the small kid they do this finger movement it stimulates certain brain uh, part and the brain part which uh, stimulated through this finger movement really helps in language development that means their language grip enhances they can be very good at their language it is found through this research and it helps in fine motor movement sometime it can be used as a therapy like mood disorder then attention disorder in this all different kind of psychological problem where you uh, the researchers have, researchers have found the origami using origami uh, activity is really proved very fruitful in such cases now psychological basis of origami learning uh, basis of uh, the origami based math learning the behaviorism now you can go through it that means when you use origami this is my research ka extract when i did uh, uh, when i integrated origami in math learning i found a lot of positive result uh, through the activity which i categorized as per the theories you can go through this okay now i hope uh, most now it is uh, i hope those they attended the workshop they will definitely use origami activity while teaching mathematics in their either in evaluation or in both of course planning will be there i hope you will do now come to the next 
aren't integrated learning that is prop based learning the earlier what we have seen where the prop is origami paper now prop i want to say any kind of property anything uh, you can use while teaching mathematics now just close your eyes everyone and now open and just observe your and uh, surrounding you observe your surrounding and select any artful object or thing select any and think how that can be used in learning mathematics now prop based learning any proper anything any object can be used in learning mathematics now in this learning what you can do you can select any prop then what you have to do you have to analyze mathematical element in the property just now this activity you have done beyond the fold activity now you have to focus on the mathematical concept plan the interactive lesson using the prop for the selected mathematical uh, mathematical concept then you have what you have to do you have to implement the plan and after integrating uh, after presenting it is my expectation it is my thinking uh, one should give integrated assignment also otherwise uh, students may not use it and i feel if it is possible then in class test also you can give such assignment such question where the children reflect their integration of means application of mathematics in some art form okay now from earlier the activity what we have done is based on the origam only that paper that paper you have to and whatever you have to transform the paper into article and that article how you can use in teaching math now and different almost in geometry you can use for every concept you can use uh, origami now come to the prop uh, just i'll give one prop and you can select your own a thread a thread now this is a prop then how to use the prop in learning mathematics this you have to think i hope i'm clear to you is a thread right ma'am pardon the prop pardon. is thread right ha i give just one example thread now you can use your own prop the prop can be any song the prop can be any story the prop can be any uh, painting the prop can be any now you can select your your prop in case if you don't want to select any prop then for them a thread now you have to select any prop and how to use this prop in mathematics you have to think think on it how to use what you can do how to integrate how to infuse we have some answers on the chat yes yes yeah. so nice okay see the answers also please please do the okay can we have more segment circle multiplication wonderful then what else painting can be used okay symmetry fine painting okay painting where else i can use painting symmetry okay this is one topic any other where i can use painting how to use painting can i use painting in arithmetic can i use painting in identity 
okay circumference can i use a thread to teach area can i use the thread to teach volume can it be possible think different yes it is possible any prop any any prop you can take a water bottle you can take any water bottle you can have mobile you can have notebook uh let us take notebook okay similarity area perimeter only this much now everyone everyone notebook take the prop notebook now which are the topic can be integrated photo from notebook box almost similar kind what are the topic we you can teach okay ki boy volume what else just don't restrict surface area fraction wonderful yes uh yes clock yes correct now analyze the notebook uh, box analyze it notebook the square shape which are the thing you can teach don't restrict yourself angle parallel lines planes wonderful what else yes think think numbers what yeah number when number comes at that time the number is not a restricted to number there is a form of number odd even wonder prime number yes yeah prime number can be thought just think oh yes you don't name it think how to you are thinking abhi august mein pardon yeah notebook profit and loss wonderful discount many many thing analyze it take a prop now my uh, the activity is you have to concentrate you have to take one prop just take one prop and try to analyze which are the different topic can be taught through and you will surprise there are many 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 topics that you can teach through yes now you have thought lot on it now again the similar kind of activity i am giving you what you have to do you have to analyze and write and mostly geometry topic related to geometry is included here think different form also different mathematics arithmetic algebra think on that also how to teach what to do okay i'm sharing okay i don't know why it is not going in the chat the reason is not aware
Okay, okay. Fine. I hope uh, I hope uh, many of might be doing uh, integrating and further I feel uh, most of the time try to integrate different art forms in mathematics. You can include singing, you can include stories, you can include uh, dramatization and many more activities in mathematics. And when you include these all, then the math will really, it will become very enjoyable activity. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. So I think we had a very meaningful um, session, ma'am. Uh, it didn't feel that we are sitting online and uh, you were giving us so many activities to do. Uh, so it was filled with activity and it was really uh, helpful because we are now supposed to integrate art into our teaching uh, because of the NEP 2020. And maths being an abstract subject and uh, the traditional way of teaching maths is only through the chalkboard. Um, you have taught us a really a different way of looking at mathematics. Uh, so now we move on to the next segment of this webinar. We have a small research presentation and I invite Nissi and uh, Lalin, our students, to present uh, the research that we did last time on reflective teaching. So Nisi and uh, Lalin, over to you. Yes, ma'am. Um, so we would like to present a research work which was conducted on the topic reflective teaching in mathematics. Total 189 people participated in this research. In this research, few questions were asked related to reflective teaching on learning. Before presenting the responses, let us first understand the concept of reflective teaching. Over to Nisi. So reflective teaching is a process where teachers think over the learning practices, analyze how something was taught and how the practice might be improved for better learning. The reflection by the teacher is an important aspect in transacting the curriculum to the students. Reflection before, during and after the teaching learning process is very much important to enable the students to learn mathematics in a fun way. And we can use reflective teaching learning method in all the subjects. So we will see some of the questions which we will be discussing. Okay. So the first question is, I encourage students to try out different methods of learning mathematics. Almost 99% of the participants agree with this statement. Allowing students to explore and to try out new methods is an essential aspect of reflective teaching. question. Applying and relating concepts to one another will lead to greater reflection in mathematics learning. All the participants have agreed to this fact. Every subject is related to mathematics in some or the other way. And by relating the mathematical concept with them, students will understand the true essence of mathematics. The next question. It is impossible to make students reflect while teaching mathematics. 23% of the participants agree with this fact. 64% of them disagree with this view. But it is certainly possible to make students reflect while teaching mathematics. Students can be encouraged to ask and seek answers to questions such as why and how, which will help them reflect and come up with new ideas. Question four. Reflection in mathematics uh, is not possible as it is, it is an uh, exact science. 12 to 13% of the participants agree with the point 52% of the participants 52 percent of the participants disagree to this fact and therefore we can understand that uh, analyzing the uh, record we can understand that reflection is very much important in mathematics and reflection is possible in mathematics and in each subject we can use reflection as an essence to teach the subject in a very effective manner. The next question, question number five. 
I can remove mathematics phobia in my students through reflective practice. Okay, so I guess everybody knows what is math phobia. Twenty-three percent of the participants either disagree with this point or have no stand on this view. Seventy-seven percent of the participants agree to this fact. With reflective practice, students can devise their own ways of approaching and solving a mathematical problem. This will gradually help them to overcome their mathematics phobia and develop an interest in mathematics. Sixth question: Teachers who are reflective in nature cannot teach mathematics properly. Seventy-seven percent of the participants disagree with the fact, whereas the remaining participants agree with this point. In fact, teachers who are reflective in nature can teach mathematics way better than those who are not. Reflection helps us to assess our own performance and come up with new strategies every time. They teach the same concepts and make the mathematical concepts way more interesting to the learners. Seventh question: I believe through reflective practice, I can make appropriate decision for students. Eighty-five percent of the participants believe that they can make appropriate decision for the students through the reflective practice. Reflection helps teachers to know their individual students, especially their learning styles and other psychological aspects responsible for learning. Teachers can thus make appropriate decisions, which will best cater to the needs of the individual students. Eighth question: Students' individual differences cannot be understood through reflection. Twenty-one percent are neutral with this view. 18 to 19 percent agree with this view, but 68 percent of the participants disagree with this view. There is a saying which goes, "Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life be believing that it is a stupid." Reflection helps teachers to identify these innate qualities and uniqueness of individual students and accordingly design their teaching strategies. Question number nine. I reflect on my daily lessons. Fifty-four point five percent of participants say that they always reflect on their daily lessons. Thirty percent says that they do it sometimes, and fourteen percent says that they do it frequently. Reflection on daily lessons is a must for teachers, as it helps them to assess their own performance and make improvements wherever possible. Question number ten: I find that reflection helps in identifying difficulties in mathematics. 86% of the participants believe in this process of reflection the remaining 14% disagree with this view or are neutral to this view reflection not only helps us in identifying the difficulties in mathematics but also enables us to come up with innovative ideas and solutions to tackle those difficulties and challenges and it makes the complicated problems more simplified and easy to solve 11th question Developing reflective practice, according to me, can monitor the progress of the student. Eighty-four percent of participants agree or strongly agree with this idea. Yes, developing reflective practice can help teachers understand the student's performance over time and thus monitor the progress of the students. Question number twelve: I identify and decide my teaching strategies through reflection. Eighty-three percent of participants agree with this view. Reflection helps. Teachers to ponder over their own teaching process and devise strategies and learning experiences which will best cater to the individual needs of the students. Question number thirteen: Critical dialogue is not possible in mathematical mathematics teaching learning. Fifty-seven percent of participants disagree with this view. Twenty-five percent remain neutral. Almost fifteen percent agree. Critical dialogue is always possible in mathematics teaching learning. In fact. Students should be encouraged to think critically and ask questions such as why is this problem solved in such a way? How how come this answer is such this, like this? Rather than simply accepting and blindly following what is taught by the teacher. Fourteen, I believe that a reflective approach can improve students' understanding of the subject. Ninety-one percent of the participants agree with this idea. Reflective approach helps students to ask questions and seek answers. and this entire process is the long run in in long run improves that understanding of the subject question number 15 a critical self examination has nothing to do with the mathematics teaching learning process so 55% disagree around 22% of participants agree 
a critical self examination is of utmost importance in mathematics teaching learning process as it helps both teachers and students to go beyond the traditional and conventional method and devise strategies of teaching learning which will yield the best possible outcome and make mathematics a fun subject to teach and learn so we conclude our research work thus reflective teaching in mathematics can bring about a productive change in the learning experience of the students as well as the teachers so thank you all for your patient listening Uh, thank you nissi and uh, lalin for your very uh, enlightening presentation on the research that we have done uh, i think that it's going to be very helpful to all our, all of us in uh, engaging our students in reflection uh, i would now invite samantha and meril uh, to give the feedback instructions while i just put the link on the um youtube and the chat box you all can just give the instructions uh, instructions for all the participants a general reminder to all the participants present here link for feedback form will be sent in the chat box of the zoom meeting and in the youtube chat now kindly fill it to get the e certificates please note that We are keeping the form open till seven thirty p.m., so all the participants are requested to fill the feedback form before seven thirty p.m. While filling the form, make sure that you enter your correct email address, or the certificate will not be delivered to you. And also enter your name correctly because no changes would be done later. If you don't receive your certificate, please wait for thirty minutes and do check your spam folder. After thirty minutes, if you are still unable to get the certificates, then kindly contact any of the student coordinators regarding the issue. Thank you. I now invite Lalin to give the vote of thanks. Lalin. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. so as a uh, i would like to uh, give a vote of thanks as the saying goes gratitude is the best attitude today we are extremely grateful to ms sunita shah our resource person for taking time out of a busy schedule and lightening the fame of knowledge of art in mathematics within us ma'am made the session really interesting by engaging with us in different activities and thought process i would like to thank our manager ever for the place this was our principal in charge dr geeta shetty and most importantly dr vinay sebastian for always encouraging and supporting us to do the magic the greater the better the more also for guiding us and making this webinar a successful one i like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all our student coordinators nishi sanika riya austin arthi samantha neeral and lelin for the dedication and hard work towards the success of this webinar and last but not the least we thank you all the dear participants for spending your valuable time with us and making this webinar a success also i hope to see you all again in our in our upcoming webinars i would like to end this by saying a quote as we express our gratitude we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words but to live by them by incorporating all the strategies and solutions that we learn from this webinar series let us all strive to make a difference to the mathematics teaching learning process and drive the fear of math out of our students thank you thank you very much and thank you all the participants thank you sunita ma'am for your wonderful presentation once again um ma'am the students the students project, uh, the student project were, uh, this project was really wonderful reflective teaching i really liked the project okay i'll just wait for few minutes before i end the meeting because the youtube uh, you know it lags for some time and ma'am you your efforts are really uh, very nice because you are involving all the student and uh, it's a math club i think it's your math club activity and this mathematics students when they go as a teacher 
they are really real gem of math mathematics teacher i feel because they have explored so many topic and different style of teaching mathematics and their perception really it's great ma'am you are doing really very great job ma'am thank you ma'am uh, shruti naik you want to say something your hand is up shruti you want to say something your hand is up okay so i will end the meeting students thank you very much i am ending the meeting okay hello everyone yes ma'am thank you ma'am yeah? okay bye bye thank yes, you yeah thank you ma'am bye bye